All right, I'm going to go back to the roots here. Um, this is an iPhone 5S boot loops. And first thing I always think of when a phone boot loops or, or 5 series is uh, probably the, the little components next to the battery connector. And sure enough, as you can see, there are, looks like, I don't know if it's, I don't think it's water damage. I think somebody probably tried to attempt to repair it already. So they probably put some flux on it, and uh, that's why this is red. But anyways, this is where I started, actually. This is how I got into micro-soldering. I was, uh, back in the days when I was repairing screens, uh, I did this to somebody's 5C. And I didn't have any tools to fix it. I didn't know what to do, and I, oh man, it took me hours and hours and hours and hours to fix this one simple problem right here, which... It's still not very simple, actually, because the problem is this. The problem is you can't get anything in between this slot right here. It's just, it's just, it's so hard to do. I mean, this is still a very hard repair for expert micro solderers, you know. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys my method for doing it, and um, hopefully this will help somebody. Um, I, don't, I still don't know if this is the best way to do it. Uh, but anyways, this will work. All right, so these are the three components that we're missing. First one is a capacitor, 56 picofarads, 16 balter, 0501 filter, 120, 210, and this is the same uh, capacitor. Okay, so I have one component that was already left behind. I'm going to reuse that one. And uh, so it's cap, filter, and cap. All right. First thing I'm going to do is put a little flux in the middle of it and uh, see if I can tend the pads that's number one all right because they are fully oxidized right now for the most part and they need to be tinned um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, put a little bit of solder on, on my tip right here and I am going to try to just squeeze it down there and these are zero zero one zero zero five components, and these are the smallest of the small. So I just want to remove the oxidation. Remove the oxidation and tin the pads. That's all I want to do. All right. It's not really. A lot to it. And you really need a really thin tipped. You need some nano. And I've got this stuff taped down right here. I got a penny over because this air speaker right here, or the loudspeaker, seems to um, burn when you put. I'm going to apply heat to it. All right, so that's tinned oxida uh, tinned, and now I am going to use. Okay, so I got a penny here, as you can see, over the loudspeaker, and I'm going to direct the heat away from. I'm I'm actually going to take away the, take out the SIM card too. Okay. So SIM card's out. I got this thing taped down with capped on. Uh, hopefully I didn't lose my capacitor there and the, the pads are tinned all right so at this point I'm going to try to get one at a time here and uh, make sure I direct the heat to the top and not the bottom because I don't want to burn that damn my freaking tweezers here one side's longer than another I use this to scrape stuff so that's why it's all jacked so anyway so I'm just going to uh, just apply so I'll, I'm gonna put my uh, hot air gun at 375 and 10, right? And uh, like I said, I got this thing taped up pretty good. You don't, you're gonna burn stuff if you don't. So, and you definitely want to direct the heat away from the from the um, the loudspeaker, all right? I don't think you really want to go. If you start, if you see that battery connector starting to melt, then you want to turn down your heat a little bit. And my fingers are starting to burn. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get another pair of tweezers here that a little bit longer and uh, give me a little more flexibility here.
All right, so hot air. Uh, try not to burn yourself. Uh, 375 in airflow 10. Um, I think I have too much solder down there. I think that's why this one's going to be a little bit harder, but it'll be fine. See, my thing's already burning. Right, so what I'm going to do actually is put a little bit of a uh, low melt on it. So I'm going to put it just right on the tip of my... Uh, Clean my tips real quick first. Ugh. This thing is just right there. All right, so I'm gonna get a little bit of low melt and put it on the tip of my tweezers, and then I'm just gonna kind of, literally, just like a dab, like the most, the smallest dab you can ever find. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little, like right on here, right there. See that? Alright, so that's that, and then now I'm going to try to solder it again. Hopefully it'll do a little better this time. So that's a low melt, alright? I'm going to turn my heat down just a little bit. So I see the connector melting. I'm, I'm at 300 now. So this should be able to melt the low melt and uh, hopefully it'll, it'll melt the connector down there. As you can see, this is still not very easy for anybody to do. Definitely not for me. I don't think anybody enjoys doing this. I don't think anybody enjoys doing this. Getting a little more low melt here, and uh, this is too much. And I got too much flux down here, so I'm just going to heat it up a little bit, see if I can melt some of that. Melt some of that flux at least. And, uh, Alright, it the solder is melting. Okay, so I think that's pretty good actually. We'll test it in a little bit here, but uh, I think that's pretty solid. Well, not quite. Alright, so that's pretty good. I think, you know what I think I did last time is that uh, instead of using 6337, I actually put low melt down there. So that's what I'm going to do, actually. I think that'll make things a million times easier. So.
Well, I'm actually tinning it with with uh, low melt here. There you go. That's low melt. That's tinned with low melt now. And now let me. Hopefully, I didn't lose my components here. Nope, they're still here. And this one is my filter, I believe. And yeah, that goes in the middle. And I think I put my penny a little too close and it's all sticky now. So I have to direct the heat this way, and then my penny is a little bit too close to this shit. So we'll see if we can get it. I'm still at 380, or I'm sorry, 300 degrees Celsius now. And now that I have low melt, it's not going to be as hard to melt the solder. There you go. So that's pretty solid. I just want to make sure that that is the filter that I had because I have two components laid out here and uh, one's a capacitor, one's a filter. And I'm pretty sure this is the filter, but I just want to make sure it beeps by. Ooh, burnt my finger. Okay, so that was a filter. So uh, looks like that bridged. Uh, as you can see, this is just not. I mean, this is just not the easiest repair. I mean, even. After I've done this so many times, okay. So, last one, so capacitor. Alright, so I'm going to see if I can just get in that little slot right there. Ouch. Ooh, it's hot. I really hope I didn't burn anything. Okay, so that's pretty solid. Alright, so that's good. Let's, let's take everything off now and see if uh, I did any damage to anything. Hopefully I didn't, but... Yeah, I protected it pretty good with pennies and capped on and all that good stuff. Guys, uh, all right. Okay, so let's inspect it. Uh, a little bit, a little bit of heat, but not too. It's not damaged at all or anything like that. A little bit of uh, connector damage, a little bit, but it's, it's not gonna affect anything. Nothing here. Make sure you take the SIM card out. And I think we're good. This is pretty solid, right? This is pretty solid. This is pretty solid, all right? So I'm gonna just Q-tip this sucker away and then. Pretty much reassemble this thing. So, I mean, if I would probably have to put, I would probably put this repair up to as one of the hardest repairs, to be honest with you.
because I've been doing this for a good while now and this this still pains me a little bit but I think the secret is to use low melt solder that's what I think I think if you use low melt solder I think that'll solve the problems with this especially if you don't have any micro or nano tweezers I mean I have nano tweezers and it's still it's still really hard to get down in there you know thanks for watching thanks for watching